When you look at the big health problems in the world, um, so much involves behavior change as well as information. And, and if you look at where people get their information, so much, much of it comes from the media. So, you know, I, right now, I'm on television, but I'm practicing public health on TV. And I think that, there, that in public health, we have to put more focus on that. Uh, if we can tell a story to get our message, message across, and, and we have such good stories, that can drive incredible change. For global health, it takes governments to get involved and to stand behind these programs. And if they don't know that, that people care about these issues, it's so incredibly easy to cut it. You can cut the budget and no one is going to stand up and say, you know, I'm not getting my trash picked up, I'm not getting my police. I, no one is seeing these projects. But if you can let people know, let, those, let your elected officials know that it matters, then it makes it so much harder for it to go away. What's the best advice your mom ever gave you? Um, I was a freshman in high school and I was running for vice president in my class and because I was, I was involved in, in student government and I really liked that. And I came home and said, Mom, you know, I'm, I'm running for vice president of my class. And she said, well, why aren't you running for president? And what she said was, you know, don't limit yourself. Think about what you want to do and there's no goal that's, that's too high. And it was, I mean, it was really, really meaningful and I've, I've held on to that and I've thought, you know, it's, it's helped me stay passionate about what I do because when something starts to get a little dull, I'll say, there's got to be a new way to do this. There's another way to make a difference. And that's, that's what I've tried to do.